Disclaimer. This video contains properly censored, but spicy content. Viewer discretion is advised. <sighs> Welcome once more to Playing by the Pound. This is a special episode as I'm recording this off stream. Bear with me for a moment as I got a bit to cover this intro and it's all kind of important. So today we are playing Barb Fighter. Or Barb Fitter. This is a very old Flash game start started back in uh, 2011 by Imaginary Z and All Snaps that's gotten constant additions over the years by them and all sorts of other people. It's essentially a basic hack and slash side scroller where you go one on one against a bunch of monsters, uh, like 64 or something. And, but that's not the main appeal. The main appeal is that they all want to eat you. And there's nuanced controls and interactions unique to each creature. I've considered adding this game and its offshoots to my playing by the pound playlist for some time now. But I always ran to the problem of how many bits of content it has that I didn't want to show on a public video. The game's not exactly safe for work all the time, it has some adult content, but more commonly and problematically it has full tour and occasionally anal vor. Uh, latter things are usually done quite platonically. Former usually just as a means of escaping the predator, latter is usually just a silly surprise attack. But they still push the line a bit too far for what I just want to display for public content. And yeah, I recently showed something uh, similar to some of that content with Sprite Vor in the Starbound video I did recently, but sprites in that were less detailed than what Barb Fighter shows, and I could liken that more to like Yoshi popping out eggs in Yoshi's Island, and I don't think anybody really considers Yoshi's Island to be an adult game, you know, so. But in any case, Flash is about to die if you didn't hear. At the end of this year, it goes poof. But since Barb Fighter is a Flash game that also relies on online server data, that means I'm forced to either record something now or lose my chance forever. So, uh, since this game is honestly pretty cool and has a lot of neat content that I can show you guys, I'm taking the opportunity I have. And that's why this video is an offline recording, so I can add the content to make it suitable for public viewing. And to that end, this content will be censored at key moments. Please welcome Chibi Charm! <laughs> TV Charm here will be showing up and gasping in surprise any removal or insertion of prey that we run into that's too spicy, as well as any other surprising details that happen to pop up. He's a very innocent pup, you see, so he'll be reacting immediately and covering up any overly spicy sections of the screen until their events are over with. Even with Chibi Charm's help, however, do be warned, this video will still be pretty spicy. While visuals will be tactfully censured, censored, I won't be censoring any sound effects or text, as those mediums are much more flexible in what's allowed in a public video. If you want an example of this and are strictly of an adult age to watch it, check out Hugsby's Rule 34 Game Showcase for a great example of how censorship can be done to show some very spicy, spicy content in a way that's appropriate for YouTube. Uh, those videos are way more spicy than what I'm going to be showing here today, though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to put it clearly, if you aren't down for the spice, don't season your food. Or something like that. Just. Don't continue lesser into the content. In other words, you've been warned. You have all been warned. With that out of the way, however, <laughs> let's get into it once again <laughs> for me, because actually I lost the four-hour recording. <sighs> so I'm doing this again. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not screaming internally or anything. Let's go ahead and start up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so before we fully begin, let me explain how this game works. So... We are Barb, who happens to be a fighter. Do you see, do you see where the name comes from? Barb Fighter? Hmm. Uh, we can move around. We can attack. Uh, we have a button to attack. Everything's, everything's on keyboard normally. I have it all in Joy to Key. I have a pause button we can look around with. I have a, I have the ability to set my HP using this button down here, which I just killed myself. But that's okay, because I also have a button to heal me back to full, so it's okay. Um, we can also dodge roll. Uh, and the controls get kind of complex when we are eaten. They're at the very top of the screen up there. Oh yeah, I should also explain we can change our... We can change from attacking to hugging. And you can tell which I'm in based on the heart or the sword icon at the top. Now at the top there, uh, in between the arrow and the sword, there will be a bunch of inputs to show up when we get eaten by things. There will be a uh, left set of D-pad arrows up, down, left, right, and a right set on the right side as well. Uh, at times, as well as a button sometimes, as well as a W sometimes, as well as a skull sometimes. So these icons all mean different things, and to really put it put it in a very quick and concise, orderly fashion, the left D-pad basically means that if we press just default directional buttons, we can do something with the Predator. Uh, if we see a right side screen D-pad, that means if we hold down our attack button and struggle, we'll do a, we'll do a gentle struggle and it'll do different things. 
Uh, if we see just a button, that means we just press the button that we normally would press to start an attack, but don't press a direction. Uh, if we see a W, that means wait. Wait and something will happen. And if we see a skull, that basically means that if you digest in this situation, something will happen. And that's kind of a summary. There's a few other special events that Preds will show off now and then, but that's kind of the gist of it. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Oh yeah, I guess one other thing to note is I can also change my character. There's a few, <laughs> there's a few things we could be. This is this is so awkward looking. Look at this. But I'm just gonna stay classic mode. Classic original Barb is fine by me. Uh, I think that's about it. I, I don't think if I can think of anything else that I haven't addressed. God, it's so hard. I like I said. I, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with Small Rex though. And uh, aside from Small Rex, all these creatures will make noise. The Small Rex is the first creature. Yeah, we're gonna look. Here's the list by the way. Just this is huge, right? Now, fortunately, <laughs> I, I mentioned I lost the recording. I am trying to get away from Small Rex for a second. Uh, while I mentioned I lost the recording, I lost the recording of doing about half of these guys. Uh, the latter half is still safely recorded, somehow, but I gotta redo the top row. But that's okay. We could do this. I'm gonna do this for you guys. If I sound tired, it's because I'm recording, re recording four hours of footage. It's still of it. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's, it's, I don't need to be awake to show off this content. <laughs> it's good content. But yeah, most of these creatures will make noise. Uh, Rex really wants to eat us. I'm just give me give just give me a second. Just give me a second, Rex. Just give me a sec. <laughs> He's just so uh, I should point out again. Like I said, stay in the intro. This game started work. Uh, this game was first worked on in 2011. So um, as these as as we go down the rows, the creatures get more and more recent because they've been ever, ever since 2011. Uh, creatures have been added and made for for different people. So uh, disclaimer: the first few creatures they're gonna be. They're going to be a little rougher looking because they were made with a much earlier version of Flash. So, you know, fair enough, right? But they're still going to have a lot of nuance to them, a lot of them. So let's go ahead and start getting eaten. So, small Rex. Hi. Do you... <laughs> he caught up to me and now he don't know what to do. All right. <laughs> it's like he chased me so long. Now, now he caught me. He just doesn't know. So you can see up here that uh, there are gray arrows indicating that we can struggle those directions. Nothing will really happen, but it'll do a little animation. And this guy actually has kind of a quick time event where he wants us to press certain directions for an event. So we can do that. Just struggling multiple directions. We are also almost dead. We can always fix our HP by resetting it. Uh, but I'll let him digest me actually here. There you go, buddy. And we are digested. Like I said, this is the quietest of them. I think every single creature makes noise except for this Rex fella. All right, let's do his quick time event. See where it takes us. All right, so this skull icon there, would indi we should normally indicate that this is where digestion is interesting. But I'm going to keep struggling. And see where that gets me. And there we go. First use of the sensor image. Now, when the sensor image pops up for the full tour that is all over this game, as well as a lot of the anal vor in this game, if you see a sensor popping up during those events, uh, honestly, it's more of a better safe than sorry sensor than anything else. And what I mean by that is, uh, there's not really much to see behind the sensor. You're not missing much. Just if anybody feels regretful, I have to put a sensor up. It's really, it's under detail. There's really no detail. There's really nothing. There's nothing particularly like sexual, sexual going on underneath that sensor. But that sensor is still there because it's still kind of an awkward detail to have a character coming out of another character in such a fashion. So the sensor is simply blocking that transition point for the safety of this video. So this video stays up so you can keep watching it. So, you know, appreciate the sensor, appreciate Chibi Charm. Chibi Charm is all doing us a big favor. Um, <laughs> but uh, let me actually switch to love mode and see if I can make the, ah, oh, he gives me a hug. Hug, he likes hugs. What if I fail the quick time event? He eats me. Hugs and noms, this is fine. And yes, you're wondering, like, Charm, if you've re if you if you're re-recording this footage, wouldn't you know what they do? Are you just pretending you don't know? <laughs> no, I just kind of forgot. <laughs> it's, just cause it's a listen. I record four hours of footage, and then I broke the video. Thank God for that, right? And then I record another four hours of footage because this that's how much content's here. That's how much content's here. Um, <laughs> it's like just a Hoover vacuum cleaner right now. Okay, <laughs> I think he can slurp you up while he's doing that. Come on. Go, go down to the ground. Do it again. But uh, fortunately, because I broke the video, uh, the first recording messed up. I know what happened. XSplit is weird with its local recording feature. It, Ironically enough, it wants to run a file repair uh, 
thing when you finish your recording to like verify the file. And apparently if that doesn't run all the way, it actually corrupts the file. And that's what happened. So uh, I just need to make sure that I let the damn thing run this time, which I didn't realize I had canceled, but I think I had. So yeah, shame, shame about that, but oh well. Uh, a little patience is necessary as well. All right, Hoover, do the Hoover thing. Okay, never mind then. Uh, actually, I'm going to respawn. Now, I can actually respawn while being eaten, and it'll kind of... I'm both inside of him and not inside of him. But usually you can knock him out of it, out of the whole vor thing if you just want to completely reset things by just hitting them. Usually, I say. Not in this case. Also, I'm still technically digesting, because I am both in and not in him, so... <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I like to get them low to the ground again, because basically, if we get the if we get the creatures in different positions, they will actually do different things a lot of times. So, uh, let me actually just reset the boy. There we go. Oh, stoppies. Oh, Telvors. Yeah, I forgot about this. Forgot. Yeah, the stoppies. So yeah, trying to trying to tease different attacks out of them is also a good idea, as you could see. I'm pressing all the wrong directions right now. But there's a lot. There's a lot of complexities to these. Even the very early ones have different things. Every, every 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 creature seems to work a little bit differently, which honestly made this video. That's why this video. Uh, <laughs> that's why this video is going to be such a long, complete like experience because there's just a lot to see with all these guys. More than you'd expect. They're they're not. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to him to hoover me up from the ground. I don't think he can do that actually. All right, let's let's defeat him. This is another thing we can... Uh oh watch out. I don't know if I can defeat him. He's... Well, I can. He he has a lot of health, though. I may not bother. Defeating them is generally not interesting, with, like, two real exceptions. They do. Some of them do have fun death animations. Most of them, most of them are kind of ordinary with it, though. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. The next one is Raptor Silly Dino. This one is a silly dino. As you... I mean, yeah, so he makes sense. Also, he does kind of an awkward type of lore, I'll be honest. Uh, it's not... It's, it's like... It's like... Tell Pouch 4, I guess? That's like the best I can come up with. Uh, so I let him digest me while I was thinking about the word to use. But uh, this guy's pretty complex. He has a lot going on, as you may notice. Um, up there at the top, there's got all these colors of arrows. If, if arrows are different colors, that means they'll do different things. So pressing left will do a unique thing, pressing right will do a unique thing, up and down do the same thing, because they're both the same color. And then if I do the gentle struggles, those all do the same thing in every direction. So that's kind of how that works. Generally, anyways. But we were in his tail, now we are in his belly. Let's go up. Okay, never mind, we're not going up at all, we're going the other way. <laughs> Also, yes, some of these characters might get a little bit, like, for, 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 for a little bit. That happens sometimes, you know. Back to tail. Let's see if I can, oh, I he can actually take me out of his tail. With a tail fart. Shrug? I, I guess that's a thing now. Uh, if I wait, I digest. Let's, let's do gentle struggles. Which uh, looks like if we press directions or press the button, it'll do the same thing. So we'll do a little bit of every direction. Ah, he spits us up if we do that. And now he loves us. He loves us because he got to re- Oh my goodness, your mouth opens very wide, sir. Oh, we're now we're in, his, now we're in his throat? That's pretty fun. Kinda, I love how he's kind of holding, you know, the crop of his throat like that. That's really cool, actually. I, uh, you know, we're like part of us is in his belly. Part of us is still in his throat. And he's just kind of keeping us in that position. I like the idea of, like, a predator keeping uh, their prey in the throat for a while, just kind of basking in the, uh, the fullness in the neck. I like that. It's just kind of it's kind of neat. I don't see it too often. If we press enough directions, we will encourage the action to happen, and now we're here. So, let's see here. What have I not done? I think I've actually... Actually, no, I think I have done everything at this point. Well, let's just uh, 
take our leave. I would give him a hug. Also, for anybody who doesn't like the whole farting thing, uh, most of them don't do that, so, you know, don't worry too much. Yeah, the love doesn't do anything, so let's try to feed him. <laughs> Looks like it'll be easy enough. <laughs> That's such a silly death animation. Next one we have is Lizzie Anthroraptoress. Yeah, that one right there. She's an interesting one. She's kind of craggly. Doesn't have your traditional feminine beauty. Which I find kind of interesting. Actually, let's just uh, let's just wait because I think it'll digest me. Also, I do deeply apologize. I'll try to be as thorough as possible, but if it seems like I'm rushing any of these, I'll, I'm, I'm going to show every animation I can with each one. Also, I am now digested, but I can still kind of move around. I, it is game over, but yes, I do apologize if there is any sort of like, hmm, he kind of went through that one quickly. Because like, when you lose four hours of recording footage, and then you're doing it again, without even trying, you might you might end up rushing just a little bit through the stuff you already did. I mean, it, I think that's pretty... I think that's not crazy if that happens. Uh, so, sorry if it does. But it, it should... I, I Honestly, this will still be a long video, so I don't think anybody's going to complain. I'm probably just judging myself too harshly. Like, ah, uh, it's not going to be the exact same thoroughness as last time that the in the recording I lost. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, instead of, uh... So I'm currently using the green arrow right now. I'll kind of uh, call out what I'm pressing. So now we're in their tail. So I'm going to press... Actually, I'm going to wait. Let's just wait. And I can actually set my HP lower, so if I just want to, like, digest or wait, either or here. I think I'll just wait, actually. That should be fine. Okay, yeah, I'm going to... There. Digest. Whoop. <laughs> Bounce away. I do know that Lizzie can do something very interesting if we allow if we allow her to. Let's see here. Uh, first off, this Talvor, we're out. The other thing is, I know that she has, in addition to the pounce she does over and over again, I know she can do something else as well. So let's see if I can get her to do it. Please, not this. I need you to do other things. No. Oh, actually, that was it, actually. My god, you're annoying. Come on. Well, okay. To be fair, I didn't technically see this. Actually, yeah, we, we didn't see this before. Twerk. <laughs> Twerk. <laughs> But if we, okay, yeah, this actually leads to an interesting result, too, so we'll look at this one. If we just sit around for a bit. <laughs> a little bit uncouth, but now we're them! Hooray! <laughs> we're like a smaller version of them. That was actually the animation I needed. Oh, well, okay. Well, I meant to grab that as a human, but I'll take that. I'll take it. That was the animation I was trying to get. Uh, yeah, so that, that, this also can lead to the random transformation. Um, but yes. Uh, what, what would be the best term for that? Um, bullseye? <laughs> it's like, good aim? You really, you really, you really worked out the science of your tra trajectory, uh, uh, alignment. That was good. Very, very, very intelligent lizard here. Also, we are the digest. That's pretty much all the show for this one. Let me change myself back to a normal person. There we go. Let's go to the next one. Next one we have Gator, also known as Gator Gator. Or perhaps Gator Gator Gator, if you want to. GGG for short. Um, <laughs> gator is a gator. Go figure. <laughs> He's pretty good. Does he Does he accept hugs? Let's see if he does. He, he said, oh, thank you for the hug. Let me spit a tire into your face. Why did he have a tire in his mouth? The mysteries I shall never understand. Anyways, he's fat. I like them. He's good. He's kind of simple, but he's good. I mean, he's an earlier one, right? So, of course, he's going to be a bit simple. 
Now he has a digestion option, so let's let's get let's get to Gurgling. Man, he, okay, let's get to Gurgling faster. There we go. That was pretty basic, actually. Boop. Ow. Rude. <laughs> Kirby. That's right. I forgot about that. He can also Kirby us, which uh, is very silly looking. He is a bull. He is a gator, but he is also a bull. Or a balloon, perhaps. I don't know. Boop. All right, eat me again. We have more to do. Such as me doing this, the gentle struggles. Which, if I recall, drops into fall forest, which is kind of cool. Now I can struggle other directions. But regardless of what direction I... It's going to... Nah, there's only one way out at that point. They're all the same color, every, every single option, so we don't have to check them all out. Now he's on all fours, though, which is kind of interesting. And that means he'll eat us differently. No. And also means that we can get out of the mouth, I think. Plop. And where's... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> just, have, just have the entryway all wide open for me. God, th th thanks for that. <laughs> and then we get... If I push back, we get to a lower part of his belly, and then we can, of course, inevitably... Slip on out the usual logical path. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> Alright, now let's just defeat him, I guess. Boom! You're a, a leather you're a bag now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Turned him into a leather bag. Alright, uh now we're gonna face up against QT, the wriggly inflatable. He is a Easter dragon, but he's also an inflatable creature, which is kind of cool, actually. I like this. This one's pretty creative. He has a lot of weird things he does, too. First off, he likes to give us hugs. Secondly, he doesn't actually hurt us with his attacks because he's made of fucking rubber. Even his claws, I guess. This does not mean he can't digest us, but it does mean that outside he's pretty harmless. Also, being a eastern dragon and quite long, he also has multiple, well, belly chambers, as I can demonstrate. Bloop. <laughs> Which is kind of amusing. <laughs> also, unfortunately, some animations kind of break on him, and then I get deleted from existence. I'm not sure, man. He's not exactly... Some some of these guys are not fully finished. Um, so, just keep that in mind. Um, oh. Let's actually give him a whack. I know he could do another thing, which is very, 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 very silly. If he's up for it. Let's see if he does it. Besides just Nominus, I mean, he's there's another weird... There it is. <laughs> well, something that smells so good, you must inhale it through your nose. <laughs> yeah, Nostrovor. That is just bizarre, but it's also kind of amusing. Incidentally, this he, I don't have any control now. He just is doing this on his own. That's why you can see no prompts at the top. He just kind of like circles us around a bit. Down you go, it says on the right. Actually, I just noticed that. <laughs> also, can we just appreciate the JPEG background? <laughs> Can we just appreciate that I can count the pixels? So here's he's just trying to digest us, so let's just hurry this around along for him. And animation broke! <laughs> Good for him. Well, okay, there is, uh, there is, like, two other things he can do. One of which involves eating me a different way, which kind of requires him to... Actually, wait, I need to give him hugs, because I think that calms him down. Yeah. Nope, nope, it didn't. <laughs> Calms down, nope, just immediately eats me. Okay, one thing I know he can do, which if if he's willing to, see if I can convince him to do it. Hmm. 
you may, you may remember the gator was originally on two legs, and then after eating us, he went to all fours. This guy could do the opposite, and that does lead to a slightly different situation with the four, I believe. I'll see if we can trigger it. I might not stress over it, though, too much. It's not really too different. I'm interested to show off as much as possible, but I'm not interested in spending a lot of time doing that, given how much, again, four hours of recording time lost. I'm not terribly patient anymore. <laughs> I, I have to admit that. But I do know all the good ones. Like, at this point, I know the characters quite well, so if, if there's a really good animation, I won't miss it. Come on. Do, do the thing where you stand up, dude. Oh, good, he did it. Nom. You get to see the other four. Also brought to you by the letter S. Well, it's technically backwards, but... Actually, wait. Yeah, it is backwards, but... <laughs> that was it. Nothing too crazy. But he does have... I think he's putting us through a different animation now as well. I think there's one more thing he does, but... I don't know how to trigger it. It just kind of happens sometimes. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll do it here. Nope, he broke again. There actually is a proper full tour of sorts animation with him. I just have no idea how you're supposed to actually trigger it. Well, let me try it one more time. Oh, I think this is actually it. Because he just ate his... Uh, feet first, and that was kind of different. This might actually be what I was looking for, if I'm lucky. But that was a different, uh, Vore animation. Alright, come on, do the, do the weird thing. Not the thing where you break, though. The thing where you break isn't good. Don't do that. Actually, you could just do anything. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty swell. This are you? Are you just gonna stick me in here until I digest? <laughs> Am I just stuck in your crotch belly area? <laughs> hmm. All right, fine. I will take. <laughs> I love like it's just it's, he's like he's like he's getting so excited he just pops. <laughs> it's the impression I get like just pop. All right, let's try actually uh, see if I can. You know, I just realized something. I think I know what I might have to do here. If, if, if I am correct, actually no, there was a third option, but I don't, oh, I don't know. That's eh, whatever. Let's just uh, let's just serpentine through them again one more time. See if I can't trigger something else. And if I can't, that's fine. Nope, he's still doing the breaking thing. That's fine. That's fine. I do know there's actually an exit that doesn't break. Um, just don't know how to trigger it. That's okay, though. It's not really, like, the best animation in the world that needs to be seen by everyone. So let's move on to the next one. <laughs> 